Born Denny Monos Mosquera, better known by his infamous nickname La Cuica, was a member of the Medlin Cartel drug trafficking group from Colombia and Pablo Escobar's deadliest hitman. In 1981, Pablo Escobar employed La Cuica, even paying off his bail after he had been arrested by Steve Murphy, DEA agent, and taken for trial in the United States. He was subsequently released after Pablo Escobar sent money through wire transfer, around $2 million for his bail. Under the instructions of Pablo Escobar, La Cuica killed so many people, including murdering members of his cartel and rival Carly cartel. He also murdered numerous police officers, undercover agents and government officials. In 1989, La Cuica was also responsible for the bombing of Avianca Flight 203, which claimed the lives of 110 people aboard. Biography of La Cuica Born in Medlin, Colombia, La Cuica was the son of an evangelist and a police officer, raised as a Christian by the parents during his early years. In 1978, La Cuica joined the Medlin cartel at the tender age of 12 through the influence of his senior brother. Because of his resemblance with his great aunt, his infamous nickname La Cuica was formed, which means in Colombia slangs, the fat girl. During his early years, La Cuica joined the Colombia Army, but left in 1986 for minor theft charges. Around the same period, La Cuica was jailed three or four times for his offenses. He would later rise through the ranks of the Medellin cartel, becoming a gunman later in his teens. La Cuica hits for Pablo Escobar While working for Pablo Escobar, La Cuica was responsible for numerous assassinations. In 1989, he was linked to the murder of New Liberalism founder Luis Carlos Gallon, who was a candidate for the Colombia presidential elections, which was to be held in the following year. Luis Carlos was murdered by unknown gunmen in Soacha during a political rally for the forthcoming presidential elections. While he was delivering a campaign speech for the election, which was planned for May of 1990, Luis Carlos was shot to death on the campaign arena on the grounds of eradicating Pablo Escobar and his meddling cartel. Luis Carlos' campaign promises had centered on tackling drug trafficking and getting rid of the drug trafficking groups around the country. La Cuica was a prime suspect in the crime and was subsequently arrested and convicted for the crime. La Cuica was sent to prison and held in a prison facility in the capital city, Bogota. Within a short time in prison, La Cuica bribed his way out of prison. He managed to escape prison after paying a sum of $500,000 in bribes. La Cuica was also responsible for the killings of police officers alongside Pablo Escobar. The duo offered $4,000 cash reward to anyone who could murder any police officer in Medlin. This money reward brought about the death of around 40 police officers in Colombia. In 1981, La Cuica was responsible for the murder of Matteo Marino's drug dealer, German Zapata. On instructions, he traveled to Miami, Florida, where he would murder German Zapata. The reasons for the assassination, according to Pablo Escobar, German Zapata had betrayed their cartel. On arriving in Miami, La Cuica made use of a motorcycle riding on its back. With the use of a using machine gun, La Cuica killed German Zapata. In the process, he also murdered an undercover DEA agent, Kevin Brady. He was subsequently arrested, with surviving DEA agent Steve Murphy, who was at the scene on the day of the shootings attending his trials. He would later be released after Pablo Escobar paid his bail. Subsequently, he returned to Colombia. In 1989, La Cuica was responsible for the bombing of Avianca Flight 23, with 110 people confirmed dead. He attacked the plane intending to eliminate presidential candidate Cesar Gaviria. Luckily, he wasn't on board the plane. La Cuica murdered so many people, including prostitutes. After being informed by a friend of a police raid, he escaped. He came back to kill the prostitutes that were with him earlier. In 1989, Colombia authorities also linked La Cuica with the bombing of the headquarters' administrative development of security. La Cuica was also linked with the rocket attack on the United States Embassy around the same period. La Cuica was also linked with the recruitment of teenagers as hitmen for the cartel. Betrayal of Pablo Escobar La Cuica would later betray Pablo Escobar as he was sent on a mission to monitor the Cali cartel at their base of Monte Cassino. He refused the idea of recruiting extra thugs as suggested by Pablo Escobar to assist him on the mission. Instead of adhering to instructions, La Cuica decided to follow Pablo's accountants to collect money meant for the hiring of the thugs. He would later murder the accountants after collecting the money meant for the thugs. During the process, La Cuica was chased down and arrested by DEA agents Murphy and Pina, alongside search block troops. On arrest, La Cuica would give up information on the location of the rival Carly cartel members, which led to the murder of the men. 
The killings of the cartel members by the DEA agents and troops would later lead to the raid being halted. The arrest of Laquica and subsequent legal actions Laquica was arrested in the United States on September 25, 1991. He had earlier traveled to the United States, arriving in Miami, before proceeding to Los Angeles and New York. Federal agents got information from Colombia about his arrival in the United States. Laquica was subsequently arrested while using a payphone in the Jackson area of Queens, New York. With him were two other men who were all arrested for traveling to the States with a fake passport. According to officials at the time of their arrest, Laquica and the other two men had no guns, neither were they armed. They offered no resistance on the day of their arrest, with Laquica faking his identity after officials had asked for his name and personal information. Officials would later identify Laquica's identity, as he had stated his name as Esteban Restrepo Echeravia. The information provided by Laquica was later dispelled after fingerprint reports from Colombia officials confirmed his real identity. Laquica was suspected to have traveled to the United States on an assassination mission, with one of his targets suspected to be Max Mermelstein. Mermelstein was a former drug smuggler who had worked under Pablo Escobar. He was expected to implicate Pablo following the death of Barry Seal. Barry Seal was a former pilot who became a major drug dealer for the Merlin cartel under the command of Pablo Escobar. Following his arrest and conviction, Barry would later help Drug Enforcement Administration on other drug trials before his assassination on February 19, 1986. Following Laquica's arrest, he was convicted for faking his identity and convicted for one month. He was also sentenced to a term of six years in jail for the possession of a fake passport. During his time in jail, he was linked to the bombing of Avianca Flight 203 with instructions coming from Pablo Escobar. Avianca Flight 203 was bound for Alfonso Bonilla Aragon International Airport in Cali after departing El Dorado International Airport, Bogota. 110 people lost their lives, including two American citizens who were victims. La Cuica was charged with numerous offenses, among them were importation and distribution of cocaine. He was also charged for the bombing of the plane and murder of the two Americans who were on the ill-fated Avianca Flight 203. In total, Laquica had 13 counts leveled against him, with many witnesses testifying about his crimes, killings, the brutality of people during his time as a member of the meddling cartel. After his first trial was deemed a mistrial, Laquica was later convicted and sentenced to 10 life sentences, including with additional 45 years to be served successively. Laquica would become the first person in American history to be convicted under a 1956 federal law. The law stated that anyone responsible for the bombing of an aircraft committed a crime punishable by the law. He was also on trial for a law made in 1976 which permitted the United States to try foreign citizens involved in crimes leading to the death of an American citizen. During his trials, another suspect was arrested for the bombing of Avianca Flight 203. The suspect was Carlos Mario Alzate, who had earlier admitted to the crime. Despite that testimony from Carlos Mario Alzate, Laquica was convicted and sent to a supermax prison in Colorado. In the present time, Laquica is imprisoned in the United States Penitentiary, Lee, in Virginia, United States of America. Laquica remains one of the greatest hitmen who worked alongside Pablo Escobar, carrying out his commands and instructions. He killed many people during his prime years, making him one of the greatest hitmen in Colombia history. You can say that Laquica was a killer by profession and one of the meanest members of the now-defunct Medlin cartel.